Hi, I'm Sheila Shamay, and guess who? It's Shoshana. Hi. <laughs> My daughter. She decided to come in with me and make a video, so I'm excited. So what we decided to do as far as a video, we decided to do five favorite products and five products that we do not favor, meaning we do not like. Um, so yeah, we like to share those products with you all, so I hope you all enjoy this video, okay? I'll let Shoshana go first. We're going to start with products that we like or products that we love first, okay? Okay, Shoshana, go ahead. Okay, my first product that I got is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and Bikini Contest. A lot of people talk about this. It's very pretty. It gives a nice look when I put it on. And I like it a lot so far. It's been my favorite. Okay. A product that I love is actually a product that I've had for a long time. This is a City Colors uh, 12 eyeshadows and 3 blush palette. It looks like this right here. I've used it in many tutorials and I opened three blushes is actually three highlighters, okay? And I love this palette for the highlighters. This one in the middle is like a champagne highlight. This one is more like a bronze, a uh, golden bronze highlight. This one is just a light gold highlight shade. But I use these shades on the bottom for eyeshadows and blushes, especially these two. So these are two of my favorite. Well, this is my favorite palette. I love this palette. I always reach for it. So yeah, this is one of my palettes that I really, really, really love. Okay, you guys, I love that palette. All right. My second product that I love is a new product by Maybelline. It's the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lip Colors. And this one's very pretty. This one's in, they call it, it has a weird name. It's called Possessed Plum. It's a weird name, but I have it on today. It's very pretty. It's very pretty, It has guys. like a floral scent, which I really like. And so far, it's been my favorite lip product to wear. Yes, it's very, very pretty. I love that shade. Okay, another product that I love is actually quite new to me. Um, I've had it for, I think, about a month now or close, but I had to put it in products that I love. Um, this is the Profusion Blush and Bronzer Palette. I love this palette. I like the Contour Palette as well, but this one I use on a daily. You have like four blushes, two bronzers, and two highlighters. I love this palette because you have three different um, cosmetic um, products so it makes it easier to get done quicker with makeup because you have your blush, your bronzer, and your highlight. So I love this palette here. It is a favorite of mine and so I put it in as one of the products that I love, okay? <laughs> All right, go ahead, Sean. My third product that I like is another lip product that I currently got. I, it's not really all that new, but it's from L'Oreal. It's their glossy balm, like I like stain, like pencil. When you open it, you can like roll it up like that. This is in the color in Petite Plum. Yeah, let's see it. Petite Plum. It's a very beautiful, like, it's kind of like a nude for me, like a pinky nude. It's real pretty. It lasts a long time, especially when, like, I eat food. Normally, the lipstick goes away after you eat and drink, but this actually stays on, so it's really good. Okay. The next product would be the um, Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. I love this palette, you guys. I use it all the time since I purchased it. Um, yeah, it's not new, but it is a lovely palette. I can't stop using it. Just a lot of warm toned uh, colors in this palette. And the eyeshadows are easy to blend. And so they are amazing. This palette is an amazing palette. I love it. So I put it as a product that I love. Okay? Alright. 
My fourth product that I've been really enjoying is something that I'm having on today. It's a Mania Reloaded False Lash Mascara. It's just the classic black mascara, no color, it's just black. It has these really cool like spikes to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I love the way it grabs the lashes and just gives volume. It's really good and I have it on today. She has beautiful lashes. I wish I had naturally, okay? <laughs> I have to use lash, uh, what is it? Lash serums to try to get my lashes to grow when she has naturally long, thick lashes. Mmm. All right, you guys. <laughs> this is my other product that I love. It is the Palladio Velvet Matte Lip Colors. They are the Velvet Cream Lip Colors, you guys. Um, I can't get enough of these. They are fairly new to me. Um, and you can purchase these at Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, I just love these, okay? I love them. I have all the shades. I will be doing a lip swatch video on these. But the lipsticks are matte. But they have like this moisturizing look. They're not like a glossy matte. They just look moisturized, like your lips look very moisturized and matte. So therefore, it's kind of like a hydrating matte lip color. And that's what I love about these, okay? The color that I have on right now is this shade called Da Mask. D-A-M-A-S-K, if you can see that. So, I love it. This is the first day I put on this shade right here so this is the first day that I put on this shade and I absolutely love it and my favorite nude shade out of all of them is the uh, shade called raw silk just want you to know I've used this many times in a couple of tutorials on my blog spot but these are an amazing velvet matte lip color and I highly recommend them but anyway I will be doing a lip swatch video on these and so yeah you guys I can't wait to do the video for you all but these products right here this lip color I love these lip colors okay all right my last product that I have that I've really really been liking is another product that I'm wearing I've been wearing this product like crazy it's the TCW or the Color Workshop, whichever one you want to pronounce mm -hmm. it. It's their brow kit. I got it in this set. And basically, right there is a primer. You have three different colors for the brows, like a red color, a brown, and a, like a blonde color. Mm -hmm. And this is really good, especially when you use the primer or the wax before. It really holds it on. And it doesn't really move, and you know, sometimes brow products they can smear, and you know, you have to get it off and restart over. This one kind of packs it on, and it makes it look really good. And I really like it. Okay. All right. The other product that I love is the MN Dual Action Concealer. It's a corrector concealer. I use this concealer a lot lately, and you guys, I mean. This concealer moisturizes my under eyes, but yet it finishes, like the finish is kind of matte, but it's not so matte that my under eyes are drier than what they are already like, okay? Because I have dry under eyes. So it's an amazing formula. Um, it's just, like I said, it glides on, very moisturizing, and then it dries up like a matte finish but without drying out my skin so I love this concealer highly recommend this if you can get your hands on it I love this concealer and yes you guys I love it okay it's wonderful so now we're gonna get to products that we do not like or products that we purchase and yeah we just don't really reach for them or use them so, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the products now. Shoshana can go first. The first product that I regret buying is actually one of my favorite things that I bought like a long time ago. It's one of the Revlon Lip Butters. It's in Creme Brulee. I bought another one of these, and it just smushed. It completely smushed. They melt, I, don't they? Yeah, it melts, and it just like... 
you try and put it on your lips and it's just smeared everywhere. It's mm -hmm. not good. I would recommend it. Okay. A product that I do not like is this Coastal Sense Revealed Palette. This one is the first one. Um, yeah, you guys, I love Coastal Sense. I have a lot of Coastal Sense palettes. But this one, I just do not like. I know a lot of people like this palette, a good bit of people. But I just don't like it. As you can tell, I haven't used much of the shades. Um, what I don't like about it is not that they're not pigmented. They are pigmented, but a lot of them have a shine. You know, the eyeshadows, I feel like there's more shimmer, shine shades than there is matte shades. Um, and I do have some palettes like that that I like, but the color ranges in this palette to me is just, it's kind of hard to kind of put shades together in a sense. Maybe it's just me, but you guys, I don't grab this palette much, so I don't really like this palette much, okay? All right. My second product that I regret buying is another lip product, and Ruby Kisses, it's one of my favorite lip products. They have good variety of ranges and different like little crazy colors that you can use. But this one is a lavender color, and they call it Wonderland. I don't know if you can see that, but it's called Wonderland. It's a pretty color. It's a lavender color, one that you wouldn't really wear really that much often as you do pinks, nudes, and stuff. It's pretty, but <laughs> just damn I put them on, like, okay, so we went and got it. I put it on. It looked good at first. I look over at my mom, and mom says, Shoshana. Your teeth look yellow. <laughs> Those girls can like, do that. I was like, are you crazy? And then I look in the mirror. <laughs> it makes your teeth look yellow. And I'm pretty sure no one wants their teeth looking yellow. So I would not recommend this color. Yes, that will make your teeth look yellow, that color. Okay, the next product for me is these uh, Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes. I have one in Iconic 1 and the other one in Iconic 3. This is one right here. This one is in Iconic 3 palette. Now the shades look beautiful, you guys, but for some reason, it's just like the Coastal Sense palettes. I feel like there's too much glitter and shine type of eyeshadows. So sometimes you just don't want those type of eyeshadows. And sometimes it can be hard to find matte shades to match certain eyeshadows like that. So these two um, palettes, I don't grab them much. Um, at first I liked them, but as I started to use them, I noticed that they were pretty hard to um, just get colors together to go with them because they're so shiny like a lot of colors in each palette is so shiny you have maybe three matte shades in each palette and that's a lot of colors in one palette and you only have three matte shades but they are okay I mean I will work with them but they are not my favorite palettes no okay my third product that I have that I regret buying is this LA Color Chunky Eye Pencil and my mom did a haul where she had a bunch of these little mini little products they had for two for a dollar I like most of them but this I I was putting on makeup one day I tried this and it's in this form of a pencil and just rubbing on your eyes just make your lids hurt after a while trying to get the color on that won't get on right Mm -hmm. It's just a struggle to really put on the eyes, and I don't really, I don't really care for it. Okay, usually I use those for bases, so if you use them for eyeshadows, that probably is a hassle. I usually use them for eyeshadow bases. Okay, the other palette, I know I've been grabbing a lot of palettes, but I love eyeshadows. I love palettes. But you guys, this palette, I know y'all probably going to say, what, are you crazy? But this Too Faced Chocolate Bar, um, the original one, the first palette here, 
Um, I don't care too much for this palette. And reason being is because to me, the shades are cool tone. There is a good bit of cool tone shades rather than warm tone shades. Uh, cool tone shades sometimes can be easy to put on and have a beautiful look. And then sometimes it the shades could be ashy looking, okay? I guess it depends on your skin tone or whatnot, but for me, this palette is just too too much cool tone um, colors in the palette. So, I don't grab the palette much, and so, yeah, you guys, I don't care for this one, okay? But it's okay. I keep it, and I do occasionally grab it, but it's not a favorite of mine next product which is my fourth that I regret buying is a liquid liner I love liquid liner it's really it's fun to play around with every once in a while but this is an elf liquid liner when I first got this I started liking it it was a really good liner but after a while I started getting into felt tip liners which is a little more easier for me because I don't use liquid liner all the time but it looks like this. It's really skinny. And just being a beginner at liquid liner, this is not good. <laughs> so, and the consistency of it, I don't really like. So, this is not good for me. Yeah. Okay. The next is kind of disappointing because I bought so many of these. Um, LA, I think they're LA Girl. Yeah. LA Girl Glaze Lip Paints. Um, yeah, you guys, they look like this. We know what they look like. Okay, I bought this one, this one, you guys, this one, this one, <laughs> this one, <laughs> this one. Okay, at first, and this one. This is the only one I will wear, which is the, um, Whisper, which is a nude. I like to top this one on top of some of my deeper tone nudes and it just kind of looks good or I put this on very lightly and it looks well or when I want that ombre type of uh, lip color or lipstick look I will use this shade so I do like this one but overall I don't like these because to me they are too greasy I mean they're greasy on the lips and I feel like they're always sliding off. The color slides off a lot. So that's why I don't like these. However, I bought all of these. I might as well use them from time to time. But I do not like them because they are greasy on the lips. And the lip color just slides off. Okay? My last product that I have is a mascara. And this, at first, when I first got it, I did like it. It's the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal. It was really good, but then I got the Essence one, and I started using it more, and I recognized that this was not giving a lot of volume. The brush looks cool. Mm -hmm. It's, good. it's so. good when your eyelashes get clumped up and you want to separate them. It's good for that. Or when you just want a natural look and you don't want too much volume, you just want a simple look. It's really good, but other than that, I'm not too impressed with it. The next product that I do not care for uh, is the Maybelline Ultra Liner. It's waterproof. It looks like this. All right, I had been looking at this product for a while, and I thought, okay, Sheila, go ahead and try this liner out. I like the fact that it comes in a small, light bottle or container. But when I bought this and I opened it up and I saw the brush, okay. Now, I do like how small the, the brush is, as you can see, but it is so flimsy. Like, I'll show you, and I know my hand's going to get, like, look at that. It's so soft, like, I can't work with this. Like, I will get mascara all over the place. I do like how small it is and what I do is I like to use this product to go over my false eyelashes like when you put eyeshadow or eyeshadow falls on the fake eyelashes 
or onto my own very natural eyelashes or if you have glue on your false eyelash band I like to use this for that purpose but just to line my eyes is regular eyeliner no I mean I just make a mess I've tried to use this liner and I just cannot use this liner it is awful okay that's just my opinion I can't work with it but it's the Maybelline ultra liner and it's waterproof okay I can't use it all right you guys so that is all of the products that we wanted to share with you as far as five products that we like five products that we don't really too much care for however we have many products that we like okay we just chose five for this video and we chose five products that we don't like however there's a few more products that we do not like okay but we just chose some to show you today and just tell you why we love the products and why we do not like the products okay and I love the fact that my daughter came in I've been wanting her to do a video with me because it's been a, such a long time you guys she is 13 now okay she's 13 she's my baby and so I'm excited she came in to do a video with me so yeah you guys we're gonna let you go so I hope you all have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening and if you like this video give it a thumbs up Comment down below if you like, share if you like, and subscribe if you like. Alright, you have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening, and you know I love you. Mwah! Bye!